Don't forget folks, before we go any further, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, ring the bell, like the video and all that jibber jabber, and thank you very much for supporting Invincible Asia. Also known as Deadly China Hero, Claws of Steel, Iron Rooster vs Centipede and even Wong Fei Hung 5 as an unofficial sequel to the popular Once Upon a Time in China series, Last Hero in China allows Jet Li to relax and have some fun with the legendary folk hero that helped make him a household name. 1993 was perhaps one of Jet Li's busiest and best years as an actor with no less than six productions on the go, all of which were fantasy period pieces. The first was the underrated Once Upon a Time in China 3, his final film for Choi Hark before returning to the role for him in 1997 with Once Upon a Time in China and America. Jet would also make two highly regarded features with his regular cohort and Eastern Films partner Corey Yoon Kwai with the fantastic Fong Sai Yuk 1 and 2. Yoon Wu Ping's wonderful Tai Chi Master was also on the cards with Jet starring alongside the Oscar-winning Michelle Yeoh and martial arts powerhouse Chin Su Ho, before Jet would sign up for a three-picture deal with the illustrious Wong Jing. One of which would begin production the following year as New Legend of Shaolin, with the other two being the incredible Kung Fu Cult Master and this, the hilarious and highly entertaining Last Hero in China. Written and directed by Wong Jing, the film sees Jet deliver a more light-hearted version of Wong Fei Hung, even going as far, at times, to make a mockery of the very series he had just left. Last Hero in China tells the story of Wong Fei Hung and his wacky disciples who have just opened their new kung fu school next to a brothel. While he struggles to come to terms with the situation, Wong uncovers a smuggling operation that is being conducted by a gang of perverted monks. Through perseverance, wildly stylized kung fu and total hilarity, Wong and his students put a stop to the abductions and to those who are behind it. Proving to be a box office smash upon release, Last Hero in China benefits from having plenty of slick fight choreography, courtesy of the legendary Yun Wu Ping and his brother Yun Cheng Yan. Of course, Wu Ping would go on to direct him in the aforementioned Tai Chi Master later that year, but had already worked with Jet on Once Upon a Time in China 2 as the action choreographer and would continue to do so again on titles such as Fist of Legend, Black Mask, Fearless and the Hollywood action fantasy The Forbidden Kingdom that saw Jet star alongside Jackie Chan. While there are some moments of undercranking during the fight scenes, something that was quite common with Yoon's work of this period, the action is often memorable especially the scenes that see a lion dance invaded by a giant centipede and the last battle that allows the former to show off his drunken fist boxing, a scene that harks back to one of Yoon Wu Ping's earliest directorial efforts with Drunken Master starring Jackie Chan. Here, Jet Li is joined by a top cast, including Wong Jing regular leading lady Charlotte Chung Man, who would also star alongside Li in Kung Fu Cult Master later that year. The amazing Gordon Liu also stars, once again appearing as a Shaolin monk, only this time a villainous one, along with his Shaw Brothers co-star and legend in his own right, Lungar Yan. They are joined by the handsome and funny Dickie Chung, along with the hilarious Nat Chan, Kingdom Yoon, Anita Yoon, and many others. Tokyo Raiders director Jingle Ma provides some great cinematography, along with Tom Lau, who would also go on to shoot My Father is a Hero, and Dr. Y in the Scripture with No Words for Jet Li soon after. Presented once again under the Hung Brothers Wins Movie Productions banner, Last Hero in China has often been considered among Wong Jing's finest works as a director, and still proves to be as highly entertaining today as it was upon release which saw it take in over 18 million Hong Kong dollars in the month of April, 30 long years ago in 1993.